Welcome to the JMTV. My people, my people, we greet you now. Welcome now, especially to DJM TV. <laughs> my people, you don't bust too. Tinubu chief of staff, Femi Bajabila. <laughs> US don't declare and wanted. On so tifi tifi, jan koliko mata. <laughs> they don't they carry all of the leg come as small, small. Not be small thing, my people. <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much. When I watch this video, when I hear everything where they happen. About this on our chief of staff, so I'm making no forget to like and share. Watch the video. According to the People Gazette, former Nigerian House Speaker Femi Bajabia Miller has been terminated as a licensed lawyer of the State Bar of Georgia in the United States after his corruption and ethical lapses have stripped acceptable threshold for members. The Nigerian politician who currently serves as the Chief of Staff to President Bola Tinubu, himself a man of uncountable scandals, was ostracized from the prestigious body effective July 1st, 2020, according to records recently obtained by the Gazette. He was found to have stolen money from a client and also failed to pay his membership fees. Mr. Bajabia Miller's disgrace in the U.S. underscores yet again the gulf between civilizations that exert fair and available instrument to foster accountability versus Nigeria where transparently fraudulent, odious figures are in charge of the most consequential positions of authority. For several weeks, Mr. Bajabia Miller dodged the Gazette's request for comment about his corruption and punishment in the U.S. Georgia's bar officials told the Gazette that Mr. Bajabia Miller's ordeal began when a client filed a grievance against him for theft. Mr. Bajabi Miller subsequently ignored the bar and stopped paying his fees and other membership obligations. On July 2, 2015, Mr. Bajabi Miller was suspended for five years. The suspension was finally approved as a permanent termination of his membership on July 1, 2020. Mr. Bajabi Miller, who was admitted to the State Bar of Georgia on June 29, 2001, was the Speaker of the House of Representatives as at the time was of his infractions in the U.S. In a unanimous decision on the 26th of February 2007, the Supreme Court of Georgia approved the suspension of Mr. Bajab Miller for 36 months after he admitted stealing $25,000 from a client. He was reinstated after serving out his suspension only for him to commit another infraction that led to his final dismissal. Mr. Bajabi Amila, who has been a member of the bar since 2001, admit that he accepted payment of $25,000 as settlement of a client's personal injury claims, deposited those funds in the attorney trust account in January 2003, failed to promptly dispose those funds to his client, withdrew those funds for his own use, closed the practice, and moved out of the country, the court said at the time. Mr. Bajabi Amila, who had been a federal lawmaker for nearly four years before the verdict, paid the money back in 2006, a year before the judgment, in order to get a lighter punishment, including being disbarred. Whereas Mr. Bajabi Amila has suffered the consequences of his known offenses in the U.S., which spanned from early odds through 2020, his corruption in Nigeria has gone unpunished. In 2021, Mr. Baja Pemila was among top lawmakers and government ministers who received heavy bribes from private businessmen to undercut local communities in passing the controversial 2021 law regulating the Nigerian hydrocarbon industry. Recently, he also faced allegations from within his own party that he received bribes to sell key government positions. A video produced by Ruling All Progressive Congress Youth Wing accuse him of unbridled corruption that could severely undermine Mr. Tinubu's administration. He, has, he is yet to deny the allegations, but some of his supporters accuse those behind the campaign as saboteurs. After spending the past 20 years as a federal lawmaker, House Speaker, and now President Tinubu's Chief of Staff, Mr. Bajabila may not need to work again as a lawyer. He also has little to be ashamed of since he's on Tinubu's team. Looking at the character serving with 
President Tunubu. DJ